This week on the sourdough trials, I make two full-size loaves from the same starter and donuts. I have plenty of sourdough starter to make two full loaves of bread using 50 grams of starter for each loaf. The first loaf I use 500 grams of bread flour. The second loaf I use 400 grams of bread flour and 100 grams of whole wheat flour. After I'm done mixing my dough, I feed the starter one more time so it will be ready for my next bake. I'm trying a slightly different shaping technique this week. Rather than shaping it into a ball, I'm doing more of an elongated shape and pulling it towards me. I hope this will lead the loaf to be more consistent in size and not one side bigger than the other side. I'm going to open bake both of these loaves at the same time. On my regular loaf I'm trying an S shape for scoring. You can see this first loaf is higher on one side than the other side. It looks pretty good inside though.
For the sourdough cake donuts, cream together butter and sugar. Add two eggs. Add sourdough discard. Add buttermilk. Add baking powder. Baking soda. salt, vanilla, and nutmeg. Sprinkle in the flour and mix on low until combined. Place the dough on a lightly floured surface. Press the dough down with your hand to about one inch tall and then fold the dough over itself three to four times until it looks a bit smoother but don't overwork it or the dough will get tough. Press the dough down to about half inch thick and then let rest for about five to ten minutes. While the dough rests, heat up your oil in a Dutch oven or a heavy pot with about 2 inches of oil. Ideally, you would use a donut cutter or metal ring cutter to cut out the donuts, but sometimes you just have to work with what you have. I used a canning jar lid and it worked out just fine. I used a jigger to shape the hole. Use some sort of slotted spatula or skimmer to lower the donuts into the hot oil. intimidated by frying food in hot oil and I'm doing my best to regulate the temperature and keep it at a steady 360 to 375 degrees. Fry the donuts for two minutes then flip and fry for an additional one minute. Then remove the donuts to a cooling rack placed over a sheet pan. Before I add the next donuts, I make sure the temperature is at least 360 degrees. Repeat the process until you've used up all your dough. 
by this last batch I think I was a little low on oil because you can see that this donut is a bit dark on the bottom and was resting on the bottom of the pan. My oil after frying and the donuts. Once the donuts have cooled, it's time to ice them. For the glaze, combine one cup of powdered sugar with two tablespoons of water or milk. Here I separate the icing into three different bowls so I can add color. I added a bit more milk thinking it was a little bit too thick. We've been watching the Minnesota Timberwolves in the playoffs so I decided to make these blue and green in honor of the Timberwolves. First I dipped each donut into the blue icing. Then I drizzled with the green. And the white. But the colors all just solidified together into one color. So I just continued dipping into the blue. I went the other direction and added more powdered sugar to thicken up the other icing. Then I drizzled it over the blue icing. This was more what I was envisioning the tops of the donuts would look like. Looks like I should also be sifting my powdered sugar. So they're not professional level, but for my first time ever making donuts, I think they look all right. And more importantly, they tasted delicious. They were soft in the inside, and other than a couple that were slightly underdone, probably because my temperature was not quite warm enough, they turned out great. <laughs>